Uh, joining me today to uh, talk about industrial cybersecurity is Sam Pasquier, who is a senior director of product management at Cisco. Uh, Sam is particularly important here as he's responsible for uh, Cisco's strategy and investments in IoT cybersecurity portfolio. Welcome, Sam. Uh, th thank you, Sid, and uh, very nice to, to meet you here in Orlando today. <laughs> yeah. You know, people, uh, everybody knows Cisco, I, I assume. But it's more known for their enterprise, cybersecurity and networking solutions and things like that. But yet, your function is around IoT. And, yes. And so can you kind of describe and where that fits and what it is that Cisco offers? Yes, you're right. You know, everyone knows Cisco as a big uh, IT player and we have been a, a dominant player in the space for more than 30 years now. And we have been actually playing in the IoT industrial networking for more than 15 years. And what we do is we leverage our company uh, intellectual property or knowledge or expertise to bring networking technology, security and management to the industrial settings. Uh, so our portfolio is really uh, designed and, and to, to address the need of industrial players like uh, utilities, manufacturing, oil and gas, resource company, all those kind of uh, customers that need to extend the network beyond their corporate space. And that's really what we do. And like we noticed in the ARC report, we have been recognized as now one of the market leader with almost 30% of market share in industrial switching. We are very <laughs> proud of that and we are continuing to invest because we see a good demand for that on the market, right? You know, uh, a lot of our clients really have suffered a lot over the last two years, I would say, you know, with the pandemic and now there's all the disruption with supply chains and everything else. But yet, I think you see growth in this market. So, you know, what is the what do you see as fueling the current growth? Yeah, that's happening? well, I think there, there's quite a few things, right? Uh, when we look about what happened over the last two years, the fundamentals are not changing. People still need food, still need energy, still need to live, right? And when we look into industrial uh, networking, industrial customer, well, that's what they do. They make the world possible. And, you know, utility will still need to produce electricity. People still want to flip <laughs> the switch and get electricity. People still drink water. There's still uh, demand for gas and energy and so on. So that fundamental is still there. What is really fueling uh, the growth is the transformation, the digital transformation for our customer. Everyone starts to understand that leveraging technology, they can increase their efficiency, they can increase their production, they can increase the quality. And that's really what's happening. Over the last two years that have been accelerated because our customer cannot be on site as much as they could, they could in the past, right? So the need to connect things is, is big, bigger than ever. And that's really what have been growing uh, the demand for our particular portfolio within Cisco, right? Speaking of digital transformation, you know, um, what are you seeing as the main challenges people are having? Because some companies seem to take a long time to do it. Digital yeah. Everybody talks about it, but they're slow moving. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's a complex problem, right? And, and there's quite a few things. So let me try to really take maybe what I think is one of the biggest problems is more and more things are going to be connected to the network, right? To the infrastructure. You take a manufacturing floor, you take a utility, all those devices are now connected to an IP network. And the challenge that we see is you need to have expertise, you need to have knowledge. Those networks are actually quite complex. It is not that easy, right? And as those networks become more complex, you have really a, a workforce challenge. How do you get people that actually know how to configure, operate, maintain, secure those infrastructure? And that's what has been, I would say, one of the limiting factors. Uh, and we, we see things evolving, you know, I've been in that role for quite a few years now, and I would say it, the mentality are changing, people understand the need, understand the benefits they can get, and are uh, willing on, on to take the investment to go there. Right? Well, you know, the other thing we see is, you know, cybersecurity is obviously a concern, and, yeah. we, and uh, I imagine some of the things I write make it more of a concern for them. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, what can Cisco do to help them with, with that security? Yeah, no, that's really true. You know, when we look at Cisco in terms of on the IT landscape, we have been one of the uh, big players, I, I would say the major player in cybersecurity. We had a very rich portfolio uh, from firewall, from, um, you know, policy, from like all kind of product and a very rich portfolio to answer the need of IT uh, security. What we are doing in the initial network is build on that and help our customer to extend that beyond the capacity space. And the reality is when I talk about the complexity of connecting all those kind of assets, this complexity also means complexity in securing all of that. So what we are trying to do within Cisco is leverage our expertise and help our customer to get visibility on what is connected 
to the industrial world, right? What are those assets connecting on a plant floor? What are those assets connecting to a grid? Once you know what is connected, then you can put in place a policy to try to segment. We, at the end, you know, n- no network is 100% secure. There will be an attack one day or the other. The key thing is how do you are you able to segment, to contain, to reduce the attack surface? And that's really what we are fo- focusing on, leveraging our expertise in cybersecurity with our uh, uh, portfolio in industrial world, in OT connectivity, to marry the two of them and make sure we can provide a very secure architecture uh, for our customer. Right? That's really what we are investing a lot and where we see a lot of success. Well, you know, I know very well, I know Cisco's products and, mm-hmm. uh, and I particularly know about CyberVision. Yeah. So can you comment about what the role CyberVision plays yeah. in your strategy for yeah. security? So like, like I mentioned, you know, if you really want to secure, at the end when you want to secure, you want to reduce the attack surface, right? You want to be able to segment. To be able to do that, you need to be able to see, detect what is there. What we've done with CyberVision is something that is built in our networking portfolio. So our router, or switches, or access point have CyberVision built in, which allows our customer to turn it on and be able to see what is connected to the network. And based on this information, they can write their security policy. That's a big difference. Uh, other solutions on the market will require you to have maybe a out-of-band management or a second monitoring network to be able to do that. Th- that's possible, but that that yet another level of complexity to be able to deploy. So uh, what we have done with CyberVision is really integrate that within our networking product. So it's making much easier, much faster to deploy and operate for our customer. That's really what we have been uh, uh, shooting for and where we're investing to, to help our customer. A lot of our clients talk about ITOT convergence. We do, the, I talk about that a lot myself. Uh, I'm sure Cisco can help people with that mm-hmm. because of where you positioned. Yes. Uh, can you kind of elaborate on that yeah, a little so, bit? Yeah, so first, you know, I will correct you. We at Cisco don't want to talk about ITOT convergence. We want to talk about ITOT partnership. Uh, okay. Because at the end, we, it's not one replacing the other. The two need each other to be able to be successful, right? IT need OT because IT doesn't have the knowledge of the OT people. And OT need IT expertise to be able to deploy, connect, and secure those complex networking infrastructure. So it's really the two working together. Where we have been investing within Cisco and with my role within Cisco is trying to build the tool to make those two teams talk to each other, work together, collaborate together. So bringing the visibility, uh, to IT people, so IT see what is there, helping OT to use the IT product, and really where we're investing is trying to make a product that can be uh, uh, used by OT and IT at the same time. So IT may define the policy, but OT may be the one applying the policy where it makes sense within the network. So I think the, the, the key for this uh, uh, successful a partnership between the two teams is to have the right tool to be able to do that and break a little bit of the silos and really uh, reassure people that it's not one versus the other. It's a, together as a team that people are going to be successful to drive this digital transformation. Right? Very well put. Thank you, Sam. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank today. you, Sid. Thank you for hosting me. Uh, we've been discussing cybersecurity with Sam Pasquier of Cisco. Thank you for watching.